Alonzo Day is a junior at the University of Tennessee, and he says the SNAP program has helped him survive. And if the bill passes, Alonzo hopes it could help more people like him secure their next meal. With every swipe, Alonzo Day can fill his pantry. Water bottles or milk, eggs. But what he's using isn't a credit card. Since I've been on food stamps, like, I haven't really just worried about, like, just going, being hungry. He uses them. Can't lie, I would get a bag of candy. To buy what he otherwise couldn't afford. And it's, it's going to help. It's like, it's really a big help. And for just one day, his only worry is picking Fruit Loops over tricks. I don't have to worry about how I'm going to eat. This simple life for Day could be a simple life for many after a new bill was introduced to Congress in September. The student campaign for hunger and homelessness says that nearly a quarter of college students suffer from food insecurity. But this new bill hopes to eliminate this by giving college students more access to money so that they can take food off of the shelves and into their bags. When I'm on campus, I can eat. When I'm at home, I can eat. It's something UT assistant political science professor Emily Schilling sees every day. There is a problem that exists and ensuring that college students can have access if they qualify for SNAP programs. She says that this bill has potential to eliminate food insecurity for many. We're not asking for a radical change to the SNAP program. They are adding, asking for a small change. And she says legislation like this is what Congress is looking for. Um, they're always looking for minor legislation that they can get passed and say, hey, look, we did pass this. But this minor bill could have a major impact on a student's week and transcript. You can't say I couldn't take a test because I was hungry. Like... Now, this resolution would expand on the current law. The bill would change from only full-time students getting assistance to half-time as well. Students would also be considered if they have an expected family contribution of zero, as well as if they are eligible for the full Pell Grant award.